welcome back to our channel so today is starting off a little bit differently so it is just me this morning i will actually be heading over to bex in just a little bit but as an update last thursday me and my boyfriend actually moved out of home so we are in a new apartment at the moment so that is super exciting uh it's also been a little bit exhausting and kind of the reason why i've been like a little bit mia but to get started with this vlog i'm actually just going to make a smoothie for breakfast i think and I thought I'd also show you guys like a little pantry and fridge tour of the new place. So we haven't got everything yet, but I thought it might just be a little bit of fun to see like how we're setting everything up. So now that we're in this new place, we are literally so close to Beck. She is like a ferry ride away. So like, I don't know, 15 minutes away. Where I was living before, it would take about 40 minutes to an hour just to drive to Beck's in traffic. So this should be really fun and really exciting being so close. So I'll take you guys along with me today. Before I head off to Bex, I thought I would do a really quick fridge and pantry tour. So just showing you guys kind of what we've got going on at the moment. So maybe we'll start with the pantry. So I don't know what the best way to do this will be. So on our first shelf. So here I've got all of my supplements. So I won't go through like all of the supplements individually. Number one, because like <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> And number two, because I kind of feel like, I don't know, I don't know if it's like bad to show you guys what I take, like just because I'm taking these, like you guys shouldn't be taking the exact same stuff. But anyway, so some of the just like basic, basic ones that I'm taking at the moment. So digestive enzymes, some betaine HCL, then I've got a few other herbal supplements, some cod liver oil and magnesium, like a bunch of other stuff in the back there, as you can tell. So then over on the second shelf, I've got a spices, so we've got some of these lovely organic ones. So we've got some olive oil and some coconut oil, so those are the two oils that we use primarily. We've also got some other little seasonings, so like the mingle seasoning, this one is basically just a spice mix, so it's super plain, doesn't have any added nasty stuff, so great if you're doing paleo and you want something like a little bit different. You can also definitely make these at home, you don't have to splurge on like extra items like this. Aside from that, in the back here we've got some Australian honey. If you guys have been watching our videos for any length of time, you'll know that we generally use honey or stevia to sweeten our baking or whatever we're doing. We also have some coconut aminos, so another great little seasoning that you can add to stir fries or wilted vegetables or even like use in salad dressing. So technically this is like an aged coconut nectar so it is paleo approved and it works as kind of like a good soy sauce substitute like it's not as salty but it still adds like an interesting flavor and then right in the back here we have some olives so we use olives all the time in our salads and we also have some tins of coconut cream which are really handy for doing like little curries and things and then we also have some tinned salmon so we always use tinned salmon when we're doing our salads and it's just a really easy protein to have on hand. So on the next shelf, we have our tea supply. So one that we really like, Bex talked about it before as well, is this Tulsi Cleanse one. It's quite bitter, but it kind of like emulates coffee in a way because it's so bitter. Also have this one, the High Living Organic Golden Turmeric Tea. That one's really nice. We have cinnamon tea as well. Licorice is another favorite and some green tea. And also have this huge pack of green tea as well. So we actually use this one for making kombucha. So it's like a bulk pack of green tea. 
Otherwise in this cupboard we have got some coffee, instant coffee, so this one is organic. I don't really drink coffee at the moment, but if we have guests over or whatever, it's just good to have some coffee on hand. I've got some matcha in here. This one I don't find is a great drinking quality matcha, but it should still be good for cooking, so I'm going to keep that as well. And then of course we've got our Great Lakes collagen peptides. I use them all the time in smoothie, well, in smoothies and soups and pretty much any liquid. So it dissolves into your liquid and it doesn't really have any flavor. So it's flavorless and it's really, really good for your gut health. And then I also have just a few jars of like little extras. So here we've got some activated bikinis. So they're from Loving Earth. And then also some black chia seeds. And then right at the back, we've got our cacao powder. And that's pretty much it at the moment. At the very bottom, I have some sweet potatoes and some red onions. That's pretty much all. I don't have a lot of like baking stuff at the moment, as you can tell, but we don't really do a lot of baking and I feel like it's just something that we'll kind of acquire over time. So that is our pantry. The extra things that would kind of be included in a typical like paleo pantry would be like your almond flour, your tapioca flour, maybe some potato starch, you could also have like nut butters and things like that, but I don't keep nut butters in the house because you guys know that if I have nut butter, I will like eat it all like within a few days, like with a spoon out of the jar. It's just like too tempting. So I don't bring any of that stuff into the house. Ta -da! Okay, not that exciting, but inside the fridge, let's just go from the top, I guess, and hope that the fridge doesn't beep at me. So at the top here, we've got some chicken and I've got some beef. So this is the cleavers mince. So we actually plan out all of our meals for the next couple of days. So everything's kind of like specific for a recipe. I've also actually got my lunch up here. So down here, we've got some eggs. So we actually bought these from the market. So they say free range, but these eggs are like from a guy who has chickens in his backyard. So they're basically like a pastured chicken. And then over here, I actually have a huge batch of salad. So this is the Vietnamese salad from our Easy Paleo Meal Prep ebook. So I make up like a huge batch because if you guys have ever used Wombok before, it makes like so much volume. So I've got that for lunch as well. But yeah, I've got like this huge, huge batch of salad that we're gonna be eating over the next like three days for lunch and dinner. So that one is really great for kind of making in bulk for the week. Then over here, we actually have something really special, a spaghetti squash. I've never actually used a spaghetti squash ever, but we found this one in Coles and I'm like really excited. I know that in America, this is like really common, but you hardly ever find spaghetti squash in Australia. So we're gonna try cooking with that this week. And then down here, I actually have some broccolini just sitting on its own and some avocado. So this is generally actually how I store avocado, like face down on a plate so that this side doesn't like oxidize or anything. Got more of our Vietnamese salad over here. Then I've got like a tiny bit of salad dressing. So it's, we like to make our little dressings in a jar and then you can just shake it up and pour it over the top. Super easy. We've got some mushrooms. I think back there there's like some pumpkin. We've got carrots. We've got mangoes because mangoes are in season and we got some at the markets. And then down in the drawers, we have got some organic little leaves. So leaves are one of those things that are highly sprayed. So we try to always buy that organic if we can. Also got a few little beetroots, which are cooked and ready to eat. So they're really great for topping salad. And then over here, I've got a broccoli, I've got some zucchini and like capsicum that's just like living free over here. A turnip and some more pumpkin. So that's kind of this part of the fridge. And then over here on the shelves, so I've got more supplements over here. So all my probiotics and some cod liver oil and things like that. And we've also got our ghee. So ghee is great for cooking with and some of the meadow and marrow bone broth concentrate. So this one is super handy. If you don't have time to make bone broth at home, you can just add a teaspoon to your mug and add in some hot water and that's literally all you have to do. 
Then down here we actually have our nuts. So we're storing our nuts in the fridge because nuts are one of those things that oxidize really easy. So because they're high in polyunsaturated fatty acids, they oxidize, they can go rancid. So it's really best to actually store your nuts in the fridge. So we've got macadamias, we've got cashews, and we've also got some Brazil nuts. So I kind of see Brazil nuts as like taking a daily vitamin tablet so they're really high in selenium so all you need is like two a day and you're good to go and then over here we have our favorite sauerkraut so this is the Kehoe's kitchen sauerkraut we pretty much put sauerkraut on everything because it's great for your gut health and then over here we have our chocolate stash so we've got some of the loving earth chocolate as a bit of a treat and we have some of the 90 percent lint chocolate and then down the bottom, we just have some coconut milk. So I don't always use coconut milk. Often in smoothies, I'll just use water, but sometimes it's nice to have something a bit different. And then over here as a treat, we actually have some kombucha. So this is the one from Lobros and it's kind of like our favorite one at the moment. So the flavor is peach and ginger and they're relatively low in sugar. So if you guys are looking for some new kombucha to try, try this brand. So that is pretty much everything in our pantry and our fridge for the moment. So again, there's like a few things that I think are still missing, but I'm going to be heading to Bex really shortly. So I'll bring you along with me. Okay guys. Hi, I am at Bex now. So we are going to be working on a few things. So I think I'm going to edit the podcast first and yes. it's a long one too. So yeah, it could take a bit of time. It's like an hour long. So we'll see what it cuts down to once we edit out like Bonnie chirping in the background. <laughs> Yeah, this one was about uh, green beauty and we just talked for ages about like different mm. products as well towards the end. So I think that's why it ended up being so long. But if you can hear in the background, I've also got the washing machine going. Also like just responding to emails and things this morning. So kind of just like some admin, pretty standard day. So we are going to just crack on with it. So the podcast is just exporting. So that should be up shortly. But I'm just gonna have some lunch now. So this is actually what I had in the fridge this morning. So this is actually the Vietnamese salad from our Easy Paleo Meal Prep ebook. Just got a container full of that and I've popped in some chicken as well. So I'm gonna tuck into this. Okay, and I'm just putting together a really simple salad. You guys have probably seen this salad like 100 times. So I'm just doing some salad greens that I spin in this mini salad spinner. The one that I like to get is from Woolies. If you're here in Australia, it's the organic gourmet salad mix. And I'm just going to do it with a little bit of tin tuna and I think some other salad bits that I'll find in the fridge. So tomato, cucumber, all that good stuff. And then I also like to just dress it with some apple cider vinegar and olive oil. So I'll show you what I come up with but I'm kind of feeling like I need to start meal prepping again this year because I'm getting a little tired of the canned fish. Okay, so this is the final salad. So it's pretty low carb today. I haven't got any carbs going on here, but I'll include that in dinner. And I also had a big banana protein smoothie this morning. So I've just added some cucumber, tomato, and some pumpkin seeds, dressing, and the salmon. Okay guys, so Amy's actually just left. It's around 6 p.m. So I've been working all afternoon and I've just gotten a little delivery from iHerb. So iHerb is a place that I like to, or well, Amy and I both like to shop for all of our like supplements and different bits and pieces. So the thing I'm most excited about in this delivery is I've got the bone broth protein. So here is the box. So I'm going to open this up. So as you can see, I only picked up a few things, but this here is the bone broth protein, which I'm really excited to try. It's meant to be a really good gut friendly protein and it's taken from chicken broth. So I'm going to try this out. I just got the vanilla flavor because I do like to add my own cacao um, because I have a really good quality one at home already for smoothies and things like that. And then I also picked up a little cocoa butter with jojoba oil. My skin has just been a little bit dry lately, so I wanted to pick up something really plain. 
So I grabbed this and I wanted to top up on my collagen peptides again. So I grabbed the one from Great Lakes. I also really like the one from Vital Proteins, but I just tend to buy whichever one is going for a better price at the time because I find them to be the same in terms of the product quality. So yeah, I topped up on another one of these, which I like to add to smoothies again as well, but I usually add it to teas and other like hot drinks. So that is my mini mini haul. morning guys so it is day two of the vlog and today I'm actually going to go and work at Amy's place so as you can see she is not here and Amy has just moved into her new apartment which is right across the river from me so this is gonna be fun I'm gonna go for a little walk and luckily it's not far to walk because I feel like I'm way down uh, like a pack horse I've got my bag filled with my laptop and our podcast recording gear because we will be doing podcast today hopefully and yeah so this morning I just got up and I did a little yoga routine something really nice and chill and then I had a smoothie so I tried out the bone broth protein which actually tasted really good so that was exciting I really love trying new products so I did that and yeah just got ready for the day so I am going to head off and hopefully this trip and walking to Amy's only takes like 15 minutes or so but this is the first time I'm doing it, so I'll see how we go. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> I'm late. I missed the ferry that I was oh. hoping to get onto. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Oh, well, look today. at these. I like the braids. Oh, <laughs> I'm all sweaty now. I was late because I just realized before I left that I turned off the Wi-Fi box at home mm -hmm. and James was using it to update the PlayStation. Oh. <laughs> and he was like really looking forward to playing his new game. Oh, did you like get out the door and have to go back? No, I didn't get out the door, but then I was like, oh no, I turned that off and he was like doing this big update that was going to take all day. So I had to like get in there and log into his account and try and figure out how to keep the update going. <laughs> and then by the time I got out, I was like, I just missed the ferry. So door to door, it's been more like half an hour and I was hoping for like 15. 15. Oh well. Here now. Okay, so we are heading out for lunch. We are checking trying out a new place. Yes, so we're che checking out the places nearby Amy, so... This um, one I think is called Milk & Co? Yes, so it's called Milk & Co and we saw a few good things on the menu, it's all gluten dairy free options there, so yeah. let's try it out. You're gonna get the bacon burger as well? I think so. <laughs> I have two of the same. Alrighty, so we are back. And Amy is stuck. We've got a key stuck key, in the door. Key always gets. How was lunch? No, lunch was good. So we've discovered one place. It has lots of good acai bowls too. So if you ever want <laughs> acai bowl, he's still struggling. So back to work. Got it. Okay, so we just wrapped up our episode of the podcast. So this one was all about the signs and symptoms of poor gut health. So that one will be up over the weekend. Gotta edit it and then that'll be all wrapped up. 
otherwise that's kind of like us done for the day i think i'm like pretty pooped that one we spoke for like an hour i know and i ran out of water <laughs> halfway and i was like no i don't want to get up and get water because then i'll lose my train of thought yeah so now i'm ready to any snacks <laughs> yeah it's kind of like intense just talking for so long but gut health is like our favorite topic so we just like blab on about it all day until we like pass out and <laughs> now we're just gonna be done for the day yeah so i guess we'll wrap up the vlog here hope that you guys enjoyed this one let us know in the comments below what you're thinking of the vlogs so far this year we're gonna jump on and do some more sit down videos as well so don't panic if you feel like we're not doing any topical videos they're coming. Oops, they're coming. <laughs> but we're just doing some vlogs as well. And probably some recipes coming up shortly as well. But we will see you guys in our next video, depending on what kind of video that is. We hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.